Hack the City is a 14 week programme. It's taking place across the city. It includes the exhibition, the idea labs, a hack lab, and a variety of events and workshops that are running throughout the summer. Hack the City is about asking people to take control. It's about looking at how you can empower citizens to think about how they want to live in their city now and in the future. For a long while, the term hacking meant breaking into things technologically in order to cause mischief. And obviously, that's not what people who first started hacking meant it as. They meant it as taking systems apart and putting it back together to make something better. It's amazing. Like I think it's one of those exhibits that's been waiting a long time to kind of happen. I've come to a lot of the exhibitions, but I think this is probably up there. Lighting Theatre is a film which shows footage captured from a series of drones which flew across the city. The film provides us with a different perspective of Dublin and a more poetic view of surveillance. I thought it was a fantastic idea. I love the idea of snooping on uh, people like Google and the American Embassy. Everybody can hack the city with a simple ID. I like the idea just to show that to be a hacker you don't need to use computer, you don't need to, uh, to be an engineer. Just change uh, your environment with simple thing as a tape. Propulsion Paintings is a series of art pieces and workshops I've been doing more recently. And it's taking this idea that graffiti itself at one point was a hack. Like the notion of taking a spray paint can and pointing it at someone else's property. We've sort of come to accept that as normal, right? We don't really think about the fact that how big of a hack that was. My children were involved in, in making it and they had a really good time. It's a terrific workshop. This piece is about creating a, a panorama of a city in a, in a small contained box. It's very personal, it's very much your memory which you're building up inside this scene. We also have a sentient survival kit which provides a portrait of a future city where we wear clothes with inbuilt devices which directly block us from the networks that will be directly communicating to us. I thought the umbrella, the thermal umbrella was pretty cool. Um, and the graffiti that was all light, lit up. I liked the way they had tracked the hand movements. I just thought that was really beautiful. I know some graffiti artists and it was just really nice to see a physical sculpture of their work, I suppose. So what the drone network does is speak to a larger idea, looking at the idea of nomadic infrastructural systems. We've taken that technology for aerial photography and we've flipped it and put it on board our own network of pirate box routers to broadcast a wireless network. The Idea Lab turned a vacant shop on Capel Street into a pop-up office. For 10 days, five teams from across Europe developed ideas in response to a brief that we developed Dublin City Council and IBM. Here we're asking about um, ideas for building local community and trying to engage people in the cafe in that conversation of how do you build stronger communities. It's just a bit of play and just trying to encourage conversation within the cafe space around hacking and about community building. Very clearly people are starting to embrace the idea that they themselves are hackers, that they can be an active agent in remaking their urban environments and that's what it's about. That's pretty.